obviously bring leading edge clinical care, uh, a continued commitment to the education component of our mission uh, with physician and healthcare worker education, life science research, prevention and wellness programs, and most recently advocacy in 1984 and in Orlando actually since 1987. I moved down from Delaware uh, to help get our physician practice started in uh, 1996. And we've been taking care of patients uh, that whole time. In 2008, uh, our physicians uh, saw over 100,000 patients, uh, nearly a quarter million outpatient visits, and over 25,000 uh, surgeries performed system-wide in Florida. We have a long history and legacy of uh, community benefit and, and impact. I uh, just wanted to share a little uh, with you about 2008. <coughs> about 77 million in uncompensated care. So these are children uh, who come through our doors who have no form of insurance or ability uh, to pay for their care. Uh, that's part of the uh, wonderful vision that Mr. Education and training uh, key uh, to, our, uh, to our mission, about $8 million research, 15 million. So about 128 million in, in community benefit system-wide in 2008. I mentioned uh, education and research. Uh, I want to emphasize that they are core components uh, of our vision and our mission and who we are. Uh, the Morse believes that a, an environment that's rich in education and scientific inquiry leads to the absolute best clinical care. Uh, we're very excited to be part of the uh, Lake Nona Medical City uh, and the opportunities to interact with researchers at Burnham, with other healthcare entities, medical school, uh, and uh, you can see in uh, 2008, very accessible for families. Uh, it's on a 60-acre, uh, wonderful site. Our first phase is about 630,000 square feet, which includes the children's hospital, the emergency room, the outpatient clinics, diagnostic services, and education and research programs. We have the ability over time to grow on that site to about 2 million square feet. I'm going to be long retired. Uh, somebody else will be able to see the next uh, couple of phases through but uh, we wanted to create uh, an environment that we could grow uh, to meet the demands uh, over the foreseeable future. I mentioned construction began in 2009 and we will uh, be opening uh, probably complete construction mid-2012 and probably seeing our first patients in the third quarter, fourth, beginning of the fourth quarter of 2012. One of the neat things about this project is it's LEED certified.